I had this idea that like being an artist was like being like a professional football player or something. You have to make it like real big or else you don't make it at all sort of idea. From when I was small, uh, like in primary school over in Japan, like I, I won a few city council awards for best painting or whatever. And then uh, growing up, I thought maybe I wanted to be a, a cartoonist. Early on, I think my mum recognized that art was the least stressful thing to me. In middle school in Japan, you have to join clubs within the school. It's like sports clubs, the brass band, and then there's the art, art club. For me and the people around, like art wasn't that cool. So um, I wanted to join the sports. Yeah, when it came to choosing my college course, then um, my mum pushed me towards uh, art school. When I say push, I don't really mean like those uh, trophy kid parents that like really push. I just mean like in our conversations, she, she, she said that it probably would be better for me. She suggested it. My first choice I put as NCID and my second choice I put as uh, medicinal chemistry in Trinity. So it would have been a very different story. From the second year in or something, I just kind of decided in my head that I go for a painting. I don't know, just, just went for it. And at the degree show, like I made enough money to rent a studio. So since then I've been just continually making paintings like pretty much nonstop. At least five days a week I come into the studio and then just work, stay till around uh, when I'm six or seven, eight-ish. Painting's the one thing that doesn't really stress me out. So it's a good thing to be able to just uh, come in and do it, spend your time doing it. I think maybe my art might be kind of easy to look at, easy to take in, in comparison to a lot of the stuff out there, maybe. It's not difficult. It's not like you have to figure something out in order to appreciate it. My paintings are kind of like, um, they're kind of the byproduct of my practice, rather than me trying to make like these finished pieces that have these real strong meanings or powerful messages. It's more that I want to just become completely fluent in painting, like color-wise. Um, being able to render like proper realistic looking things and um, yeah, composition and color and just, I don't know, get really good at that. So like that's my main kind of objective. I don't look at my own paintings and think, wow, that's amazing. I do find aspects of paintings that, I, that I'm happy with and then I try to replicate some of those in, in the next paintings or I, I try to constantly develop on what I have at the moment. I want to be able to do like those uh, old master paintings that just look pretty much immaculate. I'd like to have that skill and that's one thing I'm trying to work towards. Uh, another thing that I'm interested in is figure out how colour works. So I always look at my old paintings and then figure out what colours were there, what colours weren't there and then try to use new colours or figure out combinations. I want the painting process to be just completely uh, second nature. It's like one of the one of the few things that I can do without getting stressed out, and uh, so that's 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 pretty much why I ended up doing it because I knew that I could do this every day and it wouldn't be a problem. I work from photographs. I, I pick photos that engage me, like that are that are striking to me in one way or another, like family photographs or pictures that I've taken. I don't know. I probably have maybe two or three hundred photos scanned in from the 1950s and 60s in Japan. These family photos that my uh, granddad took. The quality of the photos themselves, they're just uh, really amazing. Just real beautiful pictures. First of all, I pick a photo to work from, from pictures I've taken or old pictures. Yeah, I basically sketch it out with like diluted down paint. Sometimes I let that dry or sometimes I just, uh, just start filling it in and uh, I just paint the figure first and then figure out the background later sort of thing. Like once I have a very clear idea what I want to paint and then when I have a clear idea of how I'm going to execute it, I think from there it just, that's, that's, that's my favourite part when it just kind of clicks. I'm not like um, one of those artists that gets real frustrated and goes over it again and again and again. It's like once, it, once it's done, it's done and then I try and move on to the next so I'm pretty I don't know, easy. I want to be showing my work internationally, be, be amazing, but uh, yeah, I don't know, um, have uh, big exhibitions and um, you know, it'd be, be cool to be a painting rock star, you know. <laughs> <laughs>